For 20 years, we've been researching with organizations uh, the forces of change and transformation, what the effect is on people's lives individually, collectively, and it's all very applied. And so I'm going to walk you through a bit, you know, start out with the fundamentals of what we've learned from the research, look at some of the technologies that are transforming that are particularly influential at the moment, then look at human behavior and what's happening to people as a result of the changes that are underway, and then conclude with some thoughts around leadership and what organizations can do based on empirical evidence uh, to adapt to these transformations. It's an idea of kind of seeing around corners. How can we anticipate what's going to come next? Uh, to be able to be either predictive or prescriptive about what the future might hold. There's a tendency often to try to look for an easy solution, a way of thinking about things, a blueprint as it were, a concrete strategy, a way of, uh, of describing a theory of everything. Um, but in thermodynamics we call this entropy, a measure of disorder. In information science we call it noise. There's an enormous amount of disorder and noise in the world at the moment. And particularly when you look at the transformation that the electricity industry is going through, we can think of it akin to something like, you know, you move from matter to liquid to gas. And in many ways that transformation is from form to transformation to information. Now, on the S&P 500, organizations only exist for 15 years. Biggest industrial index in the world. In the 1930s, it was 85 years. Right? The speed at which the S-curves are going is accelerating. And that's the feeling that's disruption. That's the reality of the changes that we're undertaking. The biggest industrialist companies in the world have 15 years to live at the top of their game. In 2013, it changed. And the geologists agreed, uh-uh, we're not in the Holocene anymore. We're in a new epoch. It happened in our lifetimes. It's happening right now. And the difference between the Holocene and the Anthropocene is that now the world is controlled and dominated by humanity. You talk about productivity, it's measured through outputs over inputs. And all we ever talk about is the inputs. I do an enormous amount of work in artificial intelligence with organizations implementing new systems and stuff. Most executives care about inputs. How can I rationalize the efficiencies? And there's almost no conversation about outputs, the other side of the productivity conversation. What might we be able to create? Get a whole bunch of people with the same mindset in the room talking over each other, you got a real problem. The right attitude is key in achieving objectives, not the knowledge and capacity. The idea of magical thinking is based in the magical reality. The idea that, you know, the butterfly floats in and lands on the table. You reach out to grab it and you realize it's both painted on the table and flew in the table, flew in the room. That you have to embed into your DNA as an operating principle. If all else fails, Use magic.